I want to move on to the Lakers because Frank Vogel was introduced as the head coach yesterday. And after his news conference, Vogel called his new assistant coach, Jason Kidd, quote, an incredible asset. He went on to tell our Om Yonik Suk, you can worry about looking over your, your shoulder. You've got to worry about getting damn good coaches. And that's how I feel about this hire. So I'm going to just say that again. You can't worry about looking over your shoulder. You've got to worry about getting damn good coaches. That's how I feel about this hire. So you know Jason. <laughs> You know, obviously, that he is a strong presence. He has made moves in organizations he's been with, both as a player and a coach. What do you think about the idea of him being an assistant coach on Frank Vogel's staff? I think it's great. I think it's a great addition. Um, you have a lot of experience there and experience as a coach, also experience as a player. So I think it's a great fit. And I think the Lakers is in a situation where they need some uplifting. And yep. I think Jason Kidd is a great fit for that. Uh, as a head coach, you don't worry about your assistants and those guys. You worry about winning. You worry about executing your team and making sure that they win. And, you know, all great coaches are going to hire a great assistant. I mean, Steve Kerr is not looking over his back at Mike Brown. Mike Brown was a head coach in this league for a while as well. So I don't see that being a threat for him. The difference is that Steve Kerr hired Mike Brown, whereas Rob Belinka hired Jason. Jason Kidd. And I'm, you know, uh, Frank put a beautiful spin on this yesterday. He said, of course I want experienced coaches. Uh, he handled it exactly how you'd want to handle it. But he's being hired as a weaker head coach because he was their third choice. And so therefore he Publicly. has to... Yes. Publicly their third choice. And maybe even more than that. We don't even know. Right. So he's had to accept certain um, you know, certain things he's got to accept, which he did. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure everybody in his life is saying, Frank, watch your, watch your back. Even though you know, not, only is he, not only are they hiring a guy who's got a head coach, but a guy who interviewed for the same job. So, but I mean, we'll, we'll take it at face value and, and trust everybody for the time. He wasn't time. hired for that job, though. So I think you can look at it that way, that if they had wanted him to be the head coach, they would have hired him as the head coach. As you have noted, you know, in Cleveland, Ty Lue got the job because management put him in as David Blatt's assistant, kind of in this similar situation. And when they fired David Blatt, they elevated Ty. Ty Lue, it, had, it was a sticking point with Ty when he was yeah. interviewing for the Lakers job in that, case, that they would do that with Jason Kidd, right? In that case, the owner wanted David Blatt and the GM wanted Ty Lue, and that ended up manifesting itself. In this case, I think Rob Polinka made the hire that he wanted. Right. And so I think that gives it a better chance to work, to right. be honest with you. There's not, you know, Rob Polinka, I don't think, is going to be sitting there looking for an opportunity to get his guy in. Right. Not that that's what David Griffin did, but it ended up playing out that way. Right, that's interesting. You mentioned the good fit. Obviously, they like the idea of Jason Kidd working with Lonzo, Lonzo and that fit. I mean, you played against Jason. If Lonzo can add a little bit more of Jason Kidd to his game, how do you think that's going to open things up? I think up? it's great. I mean, I think everyone has said all along that this young player models his game a little bit after Jason Kidd, thinking pass first. So I think it's a good fit. Gives Jason an opportunity to work with this kid in the offseason and really help all their young players throughout the offseason and yep. get them better. I mean, the Lakers are not that far off. Let's not forget they still got LeBron James. And in talking privately with Jason before he interviewed for the job, before mm -hmm. any of it, it's not just lip service. He really does like does. Lonzo Ball. Absolutely. That's a legitimate yeah. thing. Absolutely. It's going to be interesting. He's never boring. Yesterday right. was yet another day in Lakerville.